Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. You see lots of plans and discussions on the internet and magazine articles about push sticks for um, table, table saws. Not so much for band saws. And I use the band saw a whole lot more than I do a table saw. And I've been thinking about this recently because some of the things that I've adapted from table saw just don't work as well for, for band saw. So let me show you a couple of uh, safety devices that I've made. A push, a push stick and a push block that uh, you might like it. It might make your bandsaw work for wood turning a little bit safer. I got into general woodworking about three years before I got into wood turning. I don't think I'd even ever heard of wood turning. It wasn't on my radar scope. And, and I didn't have a, a background into using, in using power tools. So when I first got a table saw, which I knew I'd be using, I, I spent some time reading and studying about safety and, and learning about different kinds of uh, jigs and fixtures for the table saw because that's what uh, what folks seem to do. I, I didn't know what to make, so I made I made various uh, push push sticks and all, and because I was very concerned about safety, I even took a uh, all day class on safety with power tools down in Highland uh, Woodworking, which was very very helpful to getting me oriented to, to some of these things. Uh, some of these. I actually got in the habit of trying to date most of them. I write a date on most of my pictures. So here's one, November 2005. I didn't get into wood turning until a couple of years, a couple of years, years later. So I'm looking over these and I'm seeing if I can, if any of them give me any ideas to what will work better on a bandsaw. So as I'm trying to think about coming up with a push block to make it a little more simple for uh, safer for ripping on a bandsaw, these are the three that look maybe somewhat promising. This is a little more complicated. Obviously, it's not a good design as it is, even though a handle might be nice because it still gets me too close to the to the bandsaw blade. Uh, this one's designed to be used for a table saw like this. This is not adequate for. But maybe laying down on its side gives me some ideas. But this is uh, too big, big and, and bulky. Uh, this one. This one gives me some ideas, uh, but it's too thin. This uh, circle is too small, but I think this is what I'm going to adapt. Let me show you what I'm coming up with. So here's what I've come up with. Uh, this wood was obviously way too thin. Uh, I want three quarter inch. I'm going to go to the drill press and drill a hole here. I'm going to drill a hole here and then and and then cut this this profile. And you know, for table table saw jigs, they seem to have little quarter inch knots notches. I want one a little bit bigger. So let's see how this works out. So I've got about a three and a half, uh, four inch block of uh, sweet gum that's green and it's cracked down to here. Uh, so I'm going to turn it into spindle stock. So let's see how this works. I've been using these three-quarter inch plywood uh, push sticks on my bandsaw for a while. They're getting kind of, kind of chewed up. I didn't even bother to sand the edges. This one's kind of, kind of rough. About 11 inches long, three-quarter inch thick. And then I saw this cool idea by Jim Duxbury, very creative uh, turner in in uh, in the Carolinas, and and he had one that he wood turns. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to replace it with a wood turned one. Like I say, it's about 11 inches. 11 inches long and it's a, I'm going to make the handle about three, three and three quarters inch uh, long. So I'm turning it a little bit longer than that and you'll see why. So I'm going to just kind of mark that so I know about where to, to stop. I'm going to use a spindle roughing gouge. Get the speed up maybe 15, 1800.
close. Now I'm just going to kind of round over the end of the handle to make it a little more comfortable. This is not a work of art, but I do want it to look nice. You see, we kind of I got it round enough. A little flat on one side. You know, I'm not going to worry about it. I think that's going to be close enough. I might make a couple of little. I think I'll make a couple of little. Won't even do that. Maybe a couple of decorative uh, V grooves. I'm going to hit it with a little 120 grit. Anything more than that is probably overkill. Okay, now let's take it over the bandsaw and finish it up. So I go ahead and mark a 90 degree beak using just a, a block of wood like this. I've already traced that out. And I'm going to cut that on a bandsaw first. Fastened it to the bandsaw with some hot uh, melt glue, and I dropped a little wooden disc at the bottom so this wouldn't wouldn't fall through. If you want to watch more videos on processing wood? Click on the playlist I've got above. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And remember, y'all stay safe. Come on back here.